Hello everyone, welcome back for day four of Spring to Life 30 Day Springtime Yoga Journey. I'm Ashley and today's yoga class theme is Nourish Roots. Again, thinking of ourselves as a garden or as a plant. Tending to the garden is important. Like the good soil we root ourselves in, maintaining healthy roots is its own process and practice. We must mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually give ourselves added support when necessary. If you think of when you're growing certain types of trees or plants, we have to have a support beam right next to them so that it can help them stay upright as they grow. So in today's yoga practice, we will be working with postures that balance the root chakra. So we can think of the root chakra as that steady support holding us up when everything else is going in chaos. With that being said, let's go ahead and practice. Feel free to close your eyes or gaze at a point out in front of you. Take a moment here, dropping into yourself. We can affirm to ourselves I give myself support when and where I need it. And that looks different for everyone. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, let it out. Gently open your eyes. We'll start standing with your feet outer hip distance apart for ragdoll pose, one of my favorite poses to get grounded. And then from here, just bend your knees so much that your rib cage and your thighs touch and drape yourself over your legs. You can either do what I'm doing here, hold on to your ankles, have your fingers on the floor, or even grab onto your elbows with your hands. And just allow your head to completely Relax toward the floor. You can stay like this or start to swing side to side, bending one knee, straightening the other, swinging like a grandfather clock. Allow yourself to take full, full deep breaths. Malasana, squat, bend your knees, reach your hips back towards your heels. If your heels lift up, it can help you to get like a bolster or a blanket. Place it under your heels, that way you're rooted, and then lean back on that. And lift up through your sternum, move your shoulders back. Maybe close your eyes. You focus the energy down through your tailbone, down toward the floor but also from there, lifting up through your head. Root to rise. Stand up, come into mountain pose, up at the front of your mat. And from here, bring your arms alongside your torso, close your fingers, point your palms in, Draw your shoulder blades toward each other on your back. Take a couple of full, slow, deep, even breaths. Really get grounded through your feet, especially pushing through those inner big toe mounds. Then take your fingertips to the floor, bend your knees quite a bit, and step your left leg way back. Spin your back heel to the floor, lining your heels up for warrior one. Make sure your back toes point sharply forward as you stand up and bring your arms over your head. Options for this with the arms is to have your hands behind your head or hands on your hips as well. So pick any of those. Sink your hips low as you push your feet down. Move your ribs back, tailbone forward and breathe here.
Lower your hands. Step your left foot next to your right foot. Lengthen your spine. Bend your knees. Step your right foot back. Spin your heel down. Push through your feet to lift your torso up. Reach your tailbone forward, ribs back. Reach longer through your arms or have your hands on any other variation. Lower your hands to the floor. Step your right foot next to your left foot. Then turn on your mat so you're facing one of your long edges. And then step your left leg way over to the left. And then take your hands under your shoulders. Turn your toes in a little bit. And then reach your inner thighs back and wide. Reach heart first, head last in between your legs. Tilting your tailbone up toward the ceiling. Broadening your sitting bones apart by pushing your heels down and apart. On your inhale, lengthen your spine, hands to hips, shoulders back, stand up. Take arms wide to the side, turn your right toes out. Bend your right knee so your right knee is above your ankle. Widen your right knee to the right. Grow your arms longer, back leg longer. And tilt your sitting bones toward your right heel. Gaze softly beyond your right middle finger. Straighten your right leg, let your arms swing, turn your right toes in, turn your left toes out, second side warrior two, bend your left knee, gaze beyond your left fingers, tilt your left sitting bone toward your left heel, torso directly above your hips. Straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in, bring your hands down to the floor. You can step or jump your knees to the floor. And then extend your legs out straight for Dandasana. You may always sit up on a bolster or a blanket to help forward tilt your pelvis more so you have a curve in your lower back here. Place your palms flat on the floor and move your shoulders back. And then if your palms don't reach, fingertips are fine. And then from here, pull your chin forward, look down, and then pull your chin back so you're elongating the back of your neck. But do your best to keep your shoulders moving back. Flare your toes. Lift your chin. Baddha Konasana, bring your feet together, knees wide. And then from here, rotate your inner thighs down, outer hips up, wiggle side to side. Either lean back on your hands, tilt your tailbone forward, lift your chest up, or walk your hands to your feet. Pull yourself forward, heart first, head last, and fold between your legs. Feel free to walk your arms forward and go all the way to the floor or rest on a prop if you'd like. Slowly walk your hands back. Come into a cross-legged seated position. You can do one of the traditional cross-legged seats like bringing your one heel in close and then the other heel in front of that heel or just regular cross legs. We're gonna do a root lock. So a root lock, if you've ever heard of a Kegel, it's just like a Kegel, but really you're trying to pull your perineum 
there's this like little flesh of skin in between the places down there and you're trying to pull it up and in. And it's almost like you're trying to hold your pee in. So if you have to go pee really bad, it's that action of pulling up and in. So go ahead and place your hands wherever comfortable. Feel free to close your eyes or gaze at a point out in front of you. Take a full breath in here. And as you exhale, contract, pull up and in. Keep it contracted, keep breathing. And you might feel a little pulsating and that's normal. This helps to strengthen the root chakra, Mula Bandha. And then let it go, breathe naturally. I'm gonna do it two more times, inhale here. Exhale, contract. Rise to the top of your head. Keep breathing. Really tone your abdominal muscles. Release. Breathe naturally. Last one. Inhale here. Exhale, Mula Bandha. Release. Feel free to switch the cross of your legs. Seated meditation in place of Shavasana. If you'd like to lie down for Shavasana, please feel free to do so. We'll be here for a minute. Take a full breath in. Exhale completely. Bring your awareness back to this present moment in this room. And gently open your eyes. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Take care.